name is Alejandra Tracy and I'm doing a opening credits as my A is coursework and this is my evaluation. The first question I'm uh, going to talk about any convention um, of the real media products, so codes and conventions. I chose 18 comedy and as my product I chose the mise en scène uh, so people can know what century it's uh, in. I chose the costumes of the characters so they fit into a um, student atmosphere and I've also chosen um, the music to go along with the genre because you can tell sometimes if it's a uh, horror it would be spooky music and since it's a comedy I've chosen bubbly live music. In some ways um, this as my cozy conventions because I don't use a voice over normally in the beginning of opening sequences you do tend to hear them or um, have a voice over from a different character's point of view or looking back in memory so as a teen comedy it's just presenting the characters in the beginning and also they're um, presented through um, how young males seem to be attracted to attractive young women. How does the represent going on to my social groups? Um, one of the films I was inspired by was John Tucker Must Die, which is a very stereotypical role of how young men are represented to uh, be attracted to women and how women are like to be like to receive that attention from males. These are my three screenshots which I've taken from my own product of how I've tried to represent it by having the actual group of males and how the body language of um, the main character is walking past and their reaction from it. Because of her confidence and her um, and this shot, you can tell that she enjoys the attention. Um, also, um, the male I used the male gaze, where then you can also show that a woman is receiving that attention and how male how males are seeing women because they don't like to if they were shy they would um, shine away and if I used other media products but from this. I've tried to do this to represent my own social groups. Um, but also at the same time just representing youth in general because teenagers, how they like to be fun and experiment with anything and like other films like John Tucker Must Die, She's the Man and other teen comedies, they always have that life to it and the teenage um, vibrance. Uh, what kind of institution would distribute my media product? Well, considering that this isn't a big, uh, pro big um, seller, my media product would be released um, onto alternatives such as sh uh, supermarkets. Uh, I'd heavily ride on word of mouth. News agents, because they're very common, flyers, um, and posters. The reason. The reason for me choosing these are because since this is Bracknell, we don't have many, um, we don't have the opportunity of going out and uh, going to Hollywood, being able to represent all the things we've made. So I've had to rely on heavy word of mouth, as I've mentioned, to grow increase the popularity. South Hill Park, because it's the main theatre that we have in Bracknell, and posters and flyers, which would cost me a small amount of money, which I would have had to myself um, slowly build up, probably by uh, charity events or just any events of my own, to get the money to produce them. But also, going back to my realistic... Um, Going back to my ideal industry would be these, the BBC Odeon and the BBC4 channel because these are channels that are open to all the audiences in England and the BBC is the main dominant one in, in Britain. Uh, so then it could capture my audience probably during times that they're not in school and probably out of school so they can see this and also the Odeon Cinema because they're the they would be able to advertise to a larger range of audience than appealing to anybody who's into teen comedy. Like I've mentioned, film for me. So, who 
would be my audience for my media product? My media product I designed to attract teenagers probably from 15 years uh, uh, raging up because then they'd be in that age where they can relate to the characters and I view some of the characters of similar age so then they could be recognised and probably more interested in watching the film. Um, I've also targeted, however, anyone that's interested in media and teen comedies who would be more attracted to um, probably e experimenting probably with a new narrative or just like the normal narratives of how boy meets girl fall in love or drama gets in and they end up together happily ever after. Um, and also because teenagers would be the ones that would normally be attracted to films like these. I, everybody's individual, but my ideal audience would be these. And how have I attracted them? Like I've mentioned, I've used lively music in my product. I, in my product, I have um, used actors of similar age, and I've also used uh, the scenery, the mise en scène, like a school, which normally is used. Like, as in one of my research, I did others that would be also in school um, sceneries, and then as well as activities they would do, just hanging out at school, you know, doing realistic things. Teenagers would also do so they'd relate to each other. These are the main things I picked up, which are the filming and the voiceovers. Uh, for my product, I found that it was very difficult having um, to experiment with the technology I was given. Obviously, I had the new skills to develop with uh, new video cameras and new programs, the ones as I've studied before, and also just trying to learn how I could add voiceovers. These are new skills I was able to use in to make this product. And as a teen comedy, I think it's probably more, um, especially in opening credits, it's more relied on uh, dialogue rather than music. These are also the products that I've used throughout. Um, these are the programs, for example, I've used Audacity in YouTube and Serif. Uh, that helped me to uh, create my product. For example, the music I used, the lively music to make the uh, scenery bubbly for my product was through YouTube to then Audacity to my editing and then I was able to cut out which bits uh, would fit into the, um, the visuals of my scene. And Sarah allowed me to do all this. I think that from the progression from my friendly task to my final product, I've been able to learn the new skills and develop them. I've been able to attract uh, youths of similar age because they'd be interested themselves being youths. And I have been able to develop the skills from making something look like an actual product um, from a school project to an actual professional product and being able to realise the differences such as um, the company names that are needed as coding conventions the industries that would then distribute your own product and also how you would attract your own audiences and which audience you would attract. I've now learned that there's so many more things to before you'd have to go up to film to make your own product also depending on what the product is. So that's pretty much it and thanks for listening.